This morning, police are still searching for the person who shot two people, killing one of them in front of the San Diego Central Library. Thanks for being here at 6 a.m. I'm Eric Connor and I'm Dana Marie McNichol filling in for Netta Arampour. Now, people living in the East Village, they're voicing their concerns over safety, crime and the homelessness crisis. They think say things are really getting worse. Yeah, let's check in with CBS 8's Chris Grove live outside Petco Park now with more on what is being done there to improve East Village. Chris. Yeah, and it's actually a lot of the residents and businesses that are stepping up here to try to make sure that someone is advocating for this neighborhood. In fact, we spoke with a group that's organizing, calling themselves the East Village Doers, and they want to make sure that they can advocate for a number of improvements to help with how safe people feel when walking and also living in the East Village. And remember, this is the neighborhood that is home to not only the Padres, but a number of residents that live in these apartments and high rises and restaurants. And so they do rely on a lot of people to visit this area uh, for both the Padres games and the restaurants that litter these streets. And they don't want people to feel turned off by the actual litter or the people um, that are unfortunately uh, being accused of, of violence. In fact, uh, we spoke with one of the organizers who says that uh, she's seen people walking around with nunchucks with other types of weapons. And even she says she was chased off the street herself. Now, we also did speak with the East Village Association and they did say that they are trying to step up here and that there are some high profile stories that haven't been great for the reputation of the neighborhood. Uh, they also said that there are more than 400 streetlights that are out downtown from damage or vandalism. And in fact, we could see about two of them from where we are here right now. And the East Village Association says they do want to do their part to help out. We acknowledge that there have been certain um, high profile stories that um, don't put East Village in the best light. Just this last few months, uh, we've been working with both the mayor's office as well as the downtown partnership clean and safe program to get the streetlights in East Village and downtown overall, get those streetlights back uh, turned back on. And we also heard from the San Diego Police Department who says they're still looking for the shooter in that central library. Uh, and for more information on that, specifically that surveillance video that we showed you and that brief glimpse that you see there of who is believed to be the shooter, you can go to CBS8.com and click on that story link. Eric and Dana Marie.